this training, I am going to show you how to upload an image on Tumblr. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a Tumblr account and you would be coming to tumblr.com and you would sign up. Now, don't forget, this is one of the many videos that I've uh, done on Tumblr. I do have a few others that specifically focus on uploading videos on Tumblr and also audios on Tumblr. So for this, we're going to focus on the photos. Once you have filled in all the information, email, password, and username, and you've clicked on start, you're going to be taken to your Tumblr account. Once you're in your Tumblr account, what you'll want to do is you'll want to determine which blog you want to post content to, and I'm going to go with this professional blog here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload the photo. And so I'm going to select the photo. I actually am going to put the content here. I already have my text right here. And I'm going to choose a photo. Okay. So once I upload the photo here, what I can do now, interestingly enough, this works a little bit like Pinterest, you know, in Pinterest, you can upload a URL or you can upload a photo. Well, you have the same option here. I decided to upload a photo, but right here, as you can see underneath, use a URL instead. I could have selected a URL. So you could actually go to your blog and select a URL from your blog. Let's say the, the image on your blog is also set on a separate URL. So this is another option of doing it. It also gives you the advantage of, of, of a backlink to your blog if, let's say, the images are saved on your blog. You can take a photo, so obviously that most likely be a photo of, of you sitting in front of your camera. Uh, that's another option uh, here. So you can add a few more uh, photos if you want. I think that ideally you may want to have different blog posts for different photo. It's just uh, more real estate for you on Tumblr. In terms of backlinks, you have a few options. You can click here and you can set the URL of the photo. And what I could do is I could decide that, you know what, I'm going to put my uh, the link of the exact post, let's say, on my Facebook fan page. So that would be a backlink to my Facebook fan page. That may be an option here. Or I can link it back to my blog. And here, for the domain, the URL, this is an image. These images don't appear on my blog. They usually appear only on my Facebook. So for this purpose, I'm just going to go with the root um, of the blog. So actually, it does populate it. It does recognize it. So that's what I'm going to do here, the root of the blog being attract more clients. So there you have it. Uh, it is uploaded. So um, in this case, it's interesting because let me go back. That was actually an interesting thing that just happened because I basically pressed on enter and it automatically saved it, which is interesting. That was news to me. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, or the traditional way of doing it is just to create this post and it appears on your blog and it's uh, right there. It's on your dashboard as well. As you can see, keep Keep the caption or the content that you write very short uh, because you don't want to it to you know you don't want people to scroll and, and people aren't going to read too much. So this is a really great way of doing it. Let me go back to the blog, and here you'll be able to see here all the activities that I've had on my blog. And here is another image uh, that I had uh, uploaded not long ago. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to check out the tutorial that I have on Tumblr on how to set yourself up on Tumblr, how to upload an audio on Tumblr, and how to upload a video on Tumblr.